Hey there, everybody. Happy Monday to you. I hope all of you are having a... Oh, hey, it's a full moon Monday. I totally, totally like just forgot about that. <laughs> but it is a full moon today. I think we're calling this a harvest moon. I'm not, I'm not totally sure. I, uh, I did see like the full moon last night and it was totally beautiful, but it's not like, you know, not super, super... Uh, huge but oh gosh I just I love a full moon I just think it's the it's just such a stellar thing to look at in the sky uh, kind of makes me think about the creation of the universe and how things happen and uh, you know no matter what story you have been told or what you believe when you look up in the sky at night is that not just majesty right there total majesty I have a couple of new journals to go in the shop today, you guys. Now, these are our art supply books, and they are two signatures, four pockets. I did a bit of cobbling together with the fabric. I used some images that um, Miss Cheryl sent along to me, cut them out of a piece of fabric. And these are beautiful moths. Trudy, avert your eyes. Avert, Trudy. <laughs> It's a private joke between me and Trudy. I really love the way that, that these things came out. And um, I'm going to put them in the shop. You might notice, y'all, that instead of doing the traditional closure on these with the brad and the stretchy string, I chose to use a piece of beautiful sari fabric um, because Miss Karen sent this to me, and I just absolutely adore it. I also adore the... Um, the the process, the uh, physicalness of untying a journal. To me, that's a very intimate um, experience to kind of untie your your journal or your book, uh, sort of set it aside right here, and it's a very um, private moment between you you and your journal. I finish these with just random beads. Um, again, you know, two signatures in these. They are $27. I forgot to add in the Etsy fee, Etsy fee, 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 fee. So, fees. That's why I said it so many times. Anyway, so here we go. You'll also notice the absence of hairy paper clips on these. I kind of liked just a streamline effect here. I, and then when I started adding hairy paper clips, I was like, hmm, you know, I kind of just do like it uh, without the hairy paper clips. I kind of kind of am digging the streamline nature of the book. Of course, you have tons of paper to play with, vintage text as well, uh, cardstock, things to color, things to use. Things are curated. Uh, when you flip pages, you'll see what I'm talking about. You know, we love to take photographs of our pets, whether they be a doggy or a kitty cat, or, you know, if we're lucky, we got both, and there's a little doggy right here. This is a sweet little star pattern. There is fabric in this book, and I married that with some astrology ephemera. I have two pieces of uh, Japanese ephemera right here, stir up more coffee and conversation and then you have a coffee dyed piece kind of i love owls i think they're super mysterious super um, um you know we think about wise old owls this is such a great piece of fabric you guys my neighbor is composting his yard so sorry about the continued uh lawnmower noise going on and on and on and on it's been going on for quite some time. I admire his composting, though. So trying to uh, overlook all the noise. And, of course, it's, it's still a bit warm here upstairs. So Mia and I have our fans on. So you might hear that, that in the background, too. We've got some tissue paper for you to uh, play with. I love these botanical images in this catalog. And I think that they would match really well with the coffee filter and the coffee dyed paper right here these books are wonderful because they have such rich imagery in them you know it, it's like that just looking for that final thing to go 
uh, on a greeting card or on an art trading card or an art trading coin or uh, the, just that last little piece of a mixed media page, uh, an art journal, uh, a junk journal, whatever your, you know, whatever your artsy heart takes you these days. And it's really fun to just find that, that one piece within the confines of an art supply book. It's fun to challenge yourself by just making something with the elements that you find in this book, I think that this would make a super cool greeting card, you guys. And of course, you'll have cardstock that would be appropriate for greeting cards. This is kind of a double pocket arrangement here. Uh, we have a little adventure. Are you going in April? Where are you going? Adventure awaits. And then you've got maps. And what do you see when you go on your adventure? Our time together is heavenly. And I thought that the little kitty image really did match with that sweetly. Again, cardstock, fabric, vintage recipes, and food ephemera right here garden catalogs because they're just beautiful. We have some kitty cats and books right there. We love kitty cats and books, don't we? Adventure Begins. Lots of pages for you to experiment with, to... Uh, you could take things like this and make greeting cards out of it. You could do some mixed media on the back. My idea with these books is to give you the elements that you would find challenging to work with as well as easy to work with. I know that kind of sounds uh, contradictory, but I think that it's super important that you challenge yourself by using new elements and new papers and new this and new that marry it along with the the old or things that you know how to do or you are accustomed to doing we have uh, another moth book right here has some wooden beads on the spine so let's see what she is all about so open it very carefully the sewing on these is Tammy sewing. I'm not a seamstress, so it's a little wonky. <laughs> Can't help it. But I was, I, speaking of challenges, I challenged myself because I don't sew. Even though I have a sewing machine, it's very hard for me to see what I'm doing to sew in a straight line. So I've just kind of given up sewing in a straight line. You know, it's okay. Um, I'm embracing my wonky sewing, and I think it's just fine. I like to sew things onto journals. I like the process of uh, choosing and matching fabrics to enhance a fabric or just, you know, totally change the look of, of a piece of paper, a piece of fabric, images, um, it's, it's just fun to me to do that, but not the actual act of sewing. To me, that's just a, it's a challenge. I like to hand sew things, uh, slow stitch things, but not use a sewing machine. But my grandma was an excellent seamstress. My mom was an excellent seamstress. So I just, I kind of just have to get, get back used to it. And I have a sweet sewing machine with a really sweet story. I bought it from a yard sale that I go to every year. There's a church here. It's um, an, an, an elderly church. I hope that's not um, politically not correct. But um, I always like to go and support them because it reminds me of the church that my mom goes to. And it's just, um, you know, been there forever. And... But they do all kinds of things. They aren't they aren't like tech savvy or anything like that. It's nice to be able to go and support that church. And when I go, I um, purchase a lot, and then I make a donation. And they're always <laughs> very tickled with it. It's not a big donation, um, but it's really you know, it's fun to to be able to do things like that. You can see that I did use paper clips and I have clips and things in here for you to just enhance the overall 
uh, parade of images that you have to work with and the papers that you have to work with. I love that little kitty face right there. It almost looks like an owl, doesn't it? <laughs> Cardstock, magazine pages, food imagery, uh, vintage imagery, a little bit of Halloween because we're getting upon the season of Halloween. And there we go, my friends. So two new art supply books going in the shop today. Remember, these are two signatures, um, four pockets, uh, $27. And I am thinking that I will try to ride in the car tomorrow and uh, get some things either uh, in the post office Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on... Um, recovery stuff. Okay? So, thanks for hanging out with me, and I will talk to you guys soon. See you later. Bye.